Do, 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 do. Good late afternoon from the Flying Can Ranch down here in Cedar Creek, Lake, Texas, and Happy New Year to everybody. And I hope everybody has a really prosperous and wonderful new year. I want to share something with you today. I was going to put in a back burner. A good friend of mine gave me a uh, video camera to make these with, and uh, there's some things I got to buy to make that happen, and some apps I'm going to have to load, but we're going to make it happen. But in the meantime, I want to share something with you. I grab, give you a little story. I have another friend who makes a hell of a lot more money than I do. He's been trying to get me into PCP, and he's been, you know, he's got a drag claw, he's got a Texan LLS, you know. At any rate, <laughs> it's kind of out of my pay grade, but I did some research and I came up with, let me get back here a little bit, this beast right here. Yeah, so we're going to move it around, we're going to look at it, we got a lot to cover on this video. And we'll come around this way here, and uh, we're going to swing it around, so you can see the other side, and then we're going to go over some deals with you. Right down here, just while we're at it, this is going to be your, your whoop, there it is, your caulking lever. This is going to be your pressure gauge. We'll come on down the line. And that is it right there. So what we've got here, and we're going to go over the specs very quickly, is the Aspen Seneca PCP rifle. Now, I have heard some people talk about getting this in 177, but I can only find it in a 22 and a 25 caliber. This is the 25 caliber. So in a 22, um, they say it punches out about 900 feet per second. And the 25 punches out at about 800 feet per second. I have yet to find a 177. It might be out there. So the overall weight is going to be 7 pounds. The overall length is 43.30. Uh, they say it's got about a 28 pound cocking effort. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, they say you get uh, 8 shots for about 40 to 60. Oh, did I say that right? No, it's 17 shots for 40 to 60 pumps. It comes with a single shot tray, which is in it now. This particular one, I believe, has a, um, let me look at my sheet here. It, it's got an eight round magazine that comes in it. I'm gonna talk about this for a little bit. So this is the gun itself. I put one of my infamous, that I love so much, Winchester scopes on it. So let's talk about where we're at here. So we got a nice little rubber butt pad, just the basic. A little stippling around here. Some stippling around here. You got a nice dovetail there that you can put your little scope on. And like I said, I got the single shot tray on it. I didn't bring the little clip out with me at this time. Uh, you know me, I'm not real big about them, but I'll try it later. And so let's go over this very quickly. So on this side of the gun, we'll flip it around so you can see it. There's a button right here that you have to push it. Very definite click like that and that unlocks your pump this does have a built-in pump on board so once you've unlocked the pump you can just swing it on out and jack yourself a pump in now, i'm not going to pump it back yet because i want to show you a few more things so you can turn this around like so and there's a it's going to be very hard to see there's a hole up in here, in here and that's what you put your oil in they say you need to put that about six drops of the oil that comes with the gun inside that little hole so your pump doesn't overheat burn your pump out so that's on board so also down in here is a very hard to see is going to be a little thing right down here that you can pop open and you can put your little fill valve in there so you can fill this from a tank or a hand pump if you choose to do so now they claim that this thing runs at, uh, I thought I wrote it down on here, 3,600 PSI or 250 bar. So now, we still got the pump out. You've seen where you can get the pump oil in here. Like I said, very difficult. A little dark out here right now to see what I'm talking about. But the instruction manual is, is pretty thorough. So that being said, I'm going to shove the pump back. I'm going to lock it back, and now the pump is locked. 
your safety is going to be on this side. Forward is your fire mode. Backward is your safe mode. And I'm going to put this up here a little hard to see. There's your fill gauge. I've got it pretty racked up. So I'm going to tell you what I've been doing with it. Uh, I've been operating as we move around. You'll also see that there's another switch on this side for high power, low power. And I've been running this on low for most of the day. So for the most part, I usually put out about oh, six shots, give it 20 pumps, and I'm right back to where I want to be at as far as power. There's also a little hole in the back here where you can kind of adjust your power right back here. It comes with a little Allen wrench for that. Also up in the bottom half, I forgot to mention it. Hey! Is a, is a degassing. So the same Allen wrench, turn that, you can degas it. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, it might be till tomorrow I do the shooting video. We had a lot of rain uh, the day before New Year's up here in Texas. So my backyard kind of got kind of messed up. But we are gonna do a shooting video with this. Uh, to give you an idea, hold on one second, what this thing will do. I've been using these uh, Hades, uh, JSBs, JSB Match, Diablo. These are a um, 26.554 grand, and that's what I've been putting out of it. And uh, good examples here are this little can here. I had a pull of a whole bunch of old laundry lint from the dryer, and I punched in right there. And it, and it just literally came out the backside from, you know, I'm probably about 65, 70 feet away from my target. And uh, got a pretty good consistent there on the bottom. And I'm very, very happy with this gun. You can see here where I just drilled right through the can and punched it right out on the other side. Got a very consistent hits on that one. And I thought I had one more over here. Maybe I didn't bring it with me, but that's fine. So, oh, there it is. So I really jacked that one up. Very accurate. Very, very accurate. And as you know, I really like the Winchester scope. So, um, it's not complex. Like I said, usually when I've been shooting it, I put out about six shots, give it 20 pumps, and I'm pretty much back to where I want to be because I was wanting to remain consistent as I scoped this thing in, got it all adjusted. So, you know, just for getting it, just for playing with it, uh, I'm very happy with it in the 25 caliber. And you can pick one of these up. This is a budget type P PCP. There was another one I thought about getting. It came highly recommended. Um, I, saw, I read a lot of reviews on this. I watched a lot of videos on it. There were some complaints about the pump not holding air, this, that, the other. I'm sure there's lemons and everything. Uh, maybe I got lucky, but so far, it's it's racking out pretty good. It's hitting pretty good, and if, the, if it dries up a little bit, we're going to set it down, and we are going to have a shooting test with this. We'll pop up some cans, drill some holes, see how it hits. It's really not all that loud myself. I mean, if you live in a highly popular area, you might get in trouble with it, but I could see where this could be. A really fun thing for a target shooting or pest control, uh, even a hunting gun if you if you do that sort of thing. I don't hunt anymore for personal reasons, but um, I think it's worth the money. You know, you're going to step up the line here to get your hands on one of these. I believe there's also a package that has come out where you can get this with the scope, and they'll set the scope for you, and they ship it to you in a hard case. And, of course, that's going to chunk you up a bit more. But Seneca Aspen... 25 caliber and this thing is uh just absolutely in my opinion pretty awesome little gun uh, and i'm not gonna say i highly highly recommend it because it might jack up with me but that's uh that's a pretty good size pellet well you probably can't see it because the the sun but that's a pretty good size pellet coming out of there it's got some little definite chips in there if anybody's ever used one of these it's oh man the sun is just not gonna work with me to do there it is so, and I've been getting these results on just low power, and you get a lot more shots if you leave in a low power. Uh, I watched one video, one guy recommended that 
that you, uh, if you're just flanking the stuff, leave there, you get more shots per fill. Um, I think yesterday I probably got, oh, I don't know. They say you should get, um, uh, uh, what is this? About a 28 pound pumping effort, by the way. It's not uncomfortable to pump it up. They say you should get about, uh, 17 shots, 40, 60 pumps. I'm going to tell you yesterday, I ran this thing till I shot a pellet out that dropped about 15 feet in front of me. That's pretty close, you know, estimate. Um, but I, like I said, I've been putting out about six shots, give it 20 pumps, stay really consistent. And I have been just nailing stuff right and left. So I wanted to share that with my viewers today. I wanted to wish you all a happy new year. I hope everything works out. It's been a really crazy year this year. I think things are going to get a little bit better. Just... We're going to have to bear with it. I'm not going to get in a bunch of politics or nothing. That's not the purpose of this. But if you can imagine it, you can make it happen. So that's what I believe. So, and that being said, I hope you all have a great new year. And um, uh, I am going to work with my video camera some more, figure out ways to make this thing happen. Uh, I played with it a little bit. I got to run down today, maybe get an SD card, play with it some more, and uh, figure out a way to. There's some attachments you can buy so you can plug it into various things. We're going to make it happen, though, because I don't like to fail. That's one thing about me. So, again, Happy New Year from the Flying Can Ranch down here in Texas. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Catch you all later.